Hello everyone and welcome to another video with ServiceNow and the fun stuff you can do with it. Today we are going to, of course, pick out my little picture as well. Uh, today we're going to help a question on the community. We are looking at something called content items, what you can have in your service catalog. Basically, it's just information items, not something you order. You can point at that knowledge article, the external content, the internal as well. What I have done is I have uh, just made a, a quick one, just for some information, just to be able to test it. So let's go to the portal and see how it looks like. Do, 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 do. We go into the catalog. We'll hit the browse, because the problem here, and I think that the user on the community isn't on Kingston, but we'll have one issue still on Kingston. So let's go to the test item, because the problem here is, is that even if it's just an information one, you can still order it or add attachment, which is kind of why, wondering why do you like to add attachment to this one, if it's just the information. So we're going to get rid of this one for the user as well. And then it can just apply the same functionality on the submit button as well. So what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll go into the widget editor. And we know that it's using the same widget for this one as for the other one. So if we do like this, just to duplicate that one as well. And we don't want to translate. We can see that if we go to an iPad, we'll end up on the same page using the same widgets as well. So, and here is the issue with submit. I can now get it because in Kingston, they actually moved the submit button from here and have it more up here as well. We have this functionality. So let's look at the code just for the fun of it. What we can see is that we down here has the submit button. Do, 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 do. Here you can see that if order now button should be, then this button uh, should be visible or not, and so on. And if you look at the code, you can see that, for example, the, the quantity selector, it looks like if the, the table of the of the catalog item is a record producer. If that isn't true, then it returns true, meaning that if the item is a normal catalog item, then this one should be visible and so on. Then of course, it looks like if you have some kind of options and so on with no quantity and so on as well. But we should be able to take this functionality and put on the attachments as well. Now, what we can do first, we need to clone the widget, of course, since we can't edit this one. Let's call it for uh, community. Community listening cat item. And then, of course, we need to put it on our page so we can see that it's working. So let's edit it. And this menu you get here is just hold control in and right click and you get these nice little features to do. So let's community and we put that on top. So when this page is loaded, you will have two widgets. So you see the item twice. So this one is mine, you can see community and here is the original one. So what we would like to do is like we would like to put that in GIFs. So let's just steal it from somewhere. And we need to find where the attachments are. Let's see. Here we go. This is the attachment. We can see they have no directives and so on. And we have the button. <coughs> let's hide the whole attachment ones. What we'll do then is we'll put it up here and we'll make something like uh, show add attach or show attachments. And then we can pretty much just take this functionality, copy that one, and we'll call that show 
attachments. And then instead, now we would like to know what kind of table it's within. So what we can do is we can go in here, right click, log to console, scope data. And then unless you like to learn Swedish, you can go into the menu, more tools or something, the tool developer tools, I think it is. Now we get the console and here is everything that's in within the scope data. And inside here, we can see you get the catalog items. And if you scroll down, we can see that the property sys class name is the table name. So let's take that one. And find the one we copied and let's replace this one with that one. And we'll hit save. So now hopefully it will be done if I reload. Now it's gone, and if I go to a normal iPad, you will see two iPads now, and hopefully an attachment on both. And there you can see you have on my one, it will show up just like the one below. But if it's a content item, it's gone on mine, but not out of the box. And then of course, in this case, we need to remove this one. Just remember, if now, if there are updates on this widget, you won't get it. You need to keep your eye on what's new on the new releases. And perhaps in the next release, that attachment will be gone as well. Who knows? But that is how you can solve of removing and adding buttons depending on stuff in the client's control. And that's it for today. Thank you.